Hey guys, Julia here. In this video, I'm going to share with you an amazing side hustle you can start with zero experience. We are going to talk about print on demand. We are going to cover what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to turn a creative process into profit. And even if you think you are not the most creative, stick around because I'll be sharing some game-changing tools to help you hack the process. I will be mentioning tons of helpful resources along this video, so remember to have a look in the description to check them out. Now, before I show you how print on demand works, let me quickly explain why it's such an interesting side hustle. For starters, it's completely risk-free and takes no investment, so you can get started with no money. You also won't need any previous skills to get started. All you need is determination, and with the help of AI, just about anybody could do this. I'm also giving it a huge point for scalability potential because it's a side hustle that could eventually turn into a major source of passive income. Print on demand is also completely flexible and can be done from anywhere in the world. All right, print on demand is essentially a risk-free way of starting an online business that sells custom designed products. The catch is that you don't actually need to do anything that is not digital. You don't need to buy inventory, have any products with you or take care of shipping. All you have to do in this side hustle is come up with product designs, create digital versions of your products, import them into your online store and start selling. When someone buys a product, this order is then automatically forwarded to a third party provider provider who does everything else for you. They will print the design on their blank product, package and ship it to your customer with your brand name in the package. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this in a minute. From the product price that you set in your online store, a portion goes to pay the supplier and the rest you get to keep as a profit. So with this setup, you only pay for the supply of a product after you've already sold it, which is why it's a 100% risk free. There is no way for you to lose money because you are only paying for the supply after you've already sold the product. This order flow is what makes it possible for you to sell products without having to invest any money in inventory. Instead of ordering a giant amount of stock, which could cost you thousands of dollars, you can just partner with a supplier who already has all of the blank products, printers, and shipping logistics in place. So instead of having to develop all of the complex aspects of running a business, you can get started with no money from anywhere while only focusing on the fun parts of developing a brand and marketing it. So the next questions are, how do I make an online store? How do I get the blank products? How do I create designs for products? And what should I sell in the first place? I'm going to answer all of those questions. Let's take it one by one. To create the online store, we're going to be using a platform called Shopify. I'll leave the best current deal for getting started with Shopify linked in the description. Right now, you can get started for only $1 on your first month. So whenever you're ready, make sure to find that link below and create your Shopify account. The platform is very easy to use and I have a complete step-by-step -step tutorial you can use to set up the entire store. Inside Shopify, we will design the online store, edit and organize the catalog, set up prices, discounts, accept orders, set up email marketing, and everything else needed to create and run this online store. Once we have the online store account, we are going to need a print on demand provider, which is how we are going to source the blank products, print designs on them, and have them shipped directly to the customer on automatic. For all of this, we are going to use a platform called Printify, which is also going to be linked in the description. Printify is completely free to use and you only have to pay per each product that you order. Printify also has great prices on their products, which means it's going to be easier for you to build a profitable business. All you have to do is create an account and you can start designing your products. So let's have a closer look at Printify. Here you're going to find tons of products you can design on. You could sell all kinds of clothing, accessories, home decor items, and even puzzles. They also have a very cool line of beauty products with blank packaging and coffee blends. So you could even start your own coffee brand with Printify if you wanted to without actually having to source or produce any coffee. They do have tons of different coffee blends. So all you have to do is develop a brand, create your designs, and you could start selling all of this as your own brand. Print on demand is a world of possibilities. All right, so once you've created your Printify account, you're gonna have to connect it to your Shopify account. This is how we are going to enable that synchronization so that all of your orders received on Shopify are automatically forwarded to Printify for fulfillment. You can do that either here inside Printify or by going into your Shopify dashboard and installing the Printify app. 
Once the platforms are synced, you'll be able to import products into your Shopify catalog and the entire order processing will be automated. All right, so here's what I recommend you do next. My advice for you is to have a look at these blank products on Printify and see what you would like to sell. And to choose the right print-on-demand products, there are two main things you should focus on. The first one is branding. If you have an exciting brand idea that is unique and powerful, you can sell whatever you'd like. A well-developed brand is able to create excitement around the simplest products. As an example, this print-on-demand store is making millions per month in revenue selling mugs and the simplest items, because they've managed to create a strong brand that resonates with their target audience. To help you with this part, I have a free branding guide you can download, which is full of guidelines and ideas. I'll leave it linked in the description. Number two, the next main thing you should pay attention to is a concept named SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. This is a form of marketing that involves optimizing your online store to rank better on platforms like Google. And a lot of it has to do with something called keyword research. You can think of keywords as the terms people are typing on Google to search for what they want. So what you can do is use SEO tools to find keywords that have a high success potential. And you can then let those keywords guide your product selection. For example, the keywords beach towels has 23,000 searches on Google in the US alone, and it appears to have a low amount of competition. This means you could very likely successfully sell beach towels because there is a high volume in searches, which means there is a high demand and very little competition. Now to put this in context, Printify has blank towels you could design on. So in theory, you could go ahead and create designs for beach towels, upload them into Printify, add those products to your Shopify store, and use SEO to start ranking for the keywords beach towels. This would then start driving organic traffic into your online store, which means you could start selling with organic traffic from Google. By the way, I have an SEO course in the making, so if you want to get notified when the course is out, make sure to enter your details in the link in the description. Once you have some product ideas, the next step is developing a brand. You're gonna have to come up with a name, a logo, and of course, start creating the designs for the products. Now, if you have no idea how to create a logo or how to create designs for your products, I'm gonna show you how you can hack this process and you don't need any experience to do this. I'm also gonna show you a slightly more advanced way for those of you who are more inclined towards design. So the first option is using imagine.art AI. This is a text to image generator that uses AI to turn your text into an image. All you have to do is describe what you want to create, press generate, and the AI will generate it for you. You can try it as many times as you want to, tweak a bunch of settings, and experiment until you're happy with what comes out. I'll leave this link for you in the description. Now the second option is using a beginner-friendly design tool like Kittle. Kittle has some pretty advanced features while being completely easy to navigate. You have tons of advanced controls and it's really not complicated. So if you have a good eye, you could create super professional designs without having to deal with complex Adobe software. Again, there are infinite possibilities if you get creative. I do have a design tutorial coming out very soon, so if by the time you're watching this, the video is already out, I'm gonna leave that linked in the description as well. And if you're out of ideas, Kittle also has tons of templates you could use for starting out. If you'd like to try it out, I'm gonna leave a free version of Kittle down in the description, along with a discount code you can use if you want to go for a paid subscription. Once you have some designs ready, you can then go into Printify, select your product, and upload your design. Then here, you're going to see different mockups you can use to post in your online store. These are basically the digital versions of your products I was mentioning earlier. Now to add the products to your Shopify store, you can click here, enter your pricing details, and import them directly into your Shopify catalog. Once you have some products, I also recommend ordering some samples so that you can actually experience them yourself. You might also want to order product samples in case you want to take your own product photos. All right, so for the next part, I'm gonna leave a link to this video in the description. It's a step-by-step -step and complete Shopify tutorial for beginners so that you can launch your online store as smoothly and easily as possible. Once again, if you haven't signed up for Printify or Shopify yet, I'm gonna leave both of those platforms linked for you in the description. 
I will make sure to keep those links updated so that you have access to the best current deal for getting started. For Shopify, right now it's at $1 for the first month. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Before you go, make sure to smash that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.